Good evening and welcome to our prayer service this evening. Jesus Christ, you are the light of the world. The light no darkness can overcome. Stay with us for it is evening. And the day is nearly over. You said to our hearts, seek my face. And so it is your face we seek. O gracious light, pure brightness of our everlasting God in heaven. O Jesus Christ, holy and blessed. Now, as we come to the setting of the sun, and our eyes behold the vesper light, we sing your praises, O God. Most holy and blessed Trinity. Hear us as we pray. Great Spirit, you are always with us. Therefore, all that is now past, we surrender to you with thanks. All that is now present, we receive from you with we receive from you with wonder. All that is yet to be, we await from you with hope. In all our days, you walk with us. In all our hours, you dwell in us. In all our years, you provide for us. You are always with us, your baptized people, through Lenten pilgrimage to Easter joy. Amen. May God, who said, let light shine out of darkness, shine in our hearts, to give us the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. We are a forgiven people. Thanks be to God. Tonight's psalm is Psalm 19. Day to day pours forth speech, and night to night declares knowledge. There is no speech, nor are there words, their voice is not heard. Yet their voice goes out through all the earth, and their words to the end of the world. In them God has set a tent for the sun, which comes forth like a bridegroom leaving his chamber and runs its course with joy like a strong man. Its rising is from the end of the heavens and its circuit to the end of them and there is nothing hid from its heat. No. Glory to you, O Trinity, most holy and blessed, one God, now and forever. Amen. Our reading for this service comes from the Gospel according to John, chapter 2. Hear now the word of our Lord. The Passover of the Jews was near, and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. In the temple he found people selling cattle, sheep, and doves, and the money changers seated at their tables. Making a whip of cords, he drove all of them out of the temple, both the sheep and the cattle. He also poured out the coins of the money changers and turned their tables. He told those who were selling the doves, Take these things out of here. Stop making my father's house a marketplace. His disciples remembered that it is written, Zeal for your house will consume me. The Jews then said to him, What sign can you show us for doing this? Jesus answered them, Destroy this temple, and in three days I will raise it up. The Jews then said, This temple has been under construction for 46 years, and you will raise it up in three days? But he was speaking of the temple of his body. 
after he was raised from the dead, his disciples remembered that he had said this, and they believed the scripture and the word that Jesus had spoken. This is the word of God for us, the people of God. Thanks be to God. Let us pray. Life of all that lives, all the winter of our sins, long and dark is flying, all the summer of our frenzy, hot and bright is passing, and so we give you laud and praise on dying. Amen. On the dark road to Jerusalem, Jesus, you set your face. Oh, no wing in your heart of hearts could be your dying place. You could not run from crosses, pain, nor run from evil's power. No other witness to God's reign but this courageous hour. Our faith flows from your faithfulness, our lives from your lifeblood. Against oppressive forces, now we walk the selfsame road. Your goodness is transforming faith, your kingdom's earthly call. We see beyond the territory, life healing for us The Lord Jesus be near us to defend us, within us to refresh us, around us to preserve us, before us to guide us, behind us to justify us, and above us to bless us. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ be with us. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.